Hello, what's going on, Sumo Links? It's Lindsay from AppSumo. Thank you for joining us for another product walkthrough. We're gonna get going in just a minute, but I wanna give everybody a second to get settled in. Today we have Tomi, who is the COO of Loop Email. Loop Email is a powerful email app that helps teams connect, collaborate, and manage shared inboxes all in one place. It's an awesome tool, especially if you love staying organized. We are very excited to dive into it today. Loop Email is available right now on AppSumo starting at just $59. Um, before I turn this over for the walkthrough, I just want to give you tell you two quick things. Um, first, if you have any questions about the tool, please go ahead and leave those questions in the Q&A down below. We will circle back to them after the walkthrough uh, and make sure all of those questions get answered. Uh, the second thing is that we will send out a replay after this is done recording. So um, you don't have to worry about keeping notes or if you need to step out early, you're all good. Um, all right, so let's get started. Tommy, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Awesome. I'm going to turn this over to you. I'm going to turn off my camera and my mic, uh, and I will check back in for the Q&A. OK, perfect. Thanks so much uh, for that intro. Um, so I suggest we dive uh, uh, straight in. Um, I'll try to make this first part brief. If there will be any follow-up questions, uh, give us a chance to actually go into the details uh, of those after the walkthrough. So there's really three areas, three things I'd like to um, uh, go through um, uh, during the walkthrough. The first one has to do with actually navigating the app. Now, you can see the app here, all the way to the left are my four accounts that I have connected to Loop Email. Then there is the middle sidebar, which uh, we used to actually navigate among channels, whether they're favorites, the various shared inboxes you have set up, and then the actual email list and the detail view. Now I'm starting in the loop messages view, which is all the way on the top. You can actually dive into the different either emails or shared views by clicking on these various areas here. But the loop messages view really gives you um, two main advantages. First of all, it's a good place to do triage. You can quickly do filtering. Uh, by unreads, you can also customize the view that you see here by actually muting those contacts which you don't want to have, um, you don't want to be notified about. So there's a bunch of things in muted which I've manually uh, muted by contact so that I don't get distracted. And I'm only focused on what uh, is the aptly uh, focused um, tab called. So the other thing I wanted to show you in this, in this focus, so in the, uh, in the loop messages view, is the difference between the content, uh, the contents of the latest message I got from Zoom and actually a shortcut that you're able to use. You can click on Zoom and go into our um, uh, channel view. So the channel view is the, uh, the second view that I'd like to talk about. The channel view is any of these views here, whether you click on somebody you work with, in my case, Christian, you come into uh, chat view by default, or the emails list that I've shared with Christian. So all of the emails that I've exchanged with Christian are over here. And you have a quick, quite useful access uh, to the files that we've exchanged. And that's true for any channel, whether it's a direct channel with Christian, whether it's a, a leadership channel, this is a team, or a shared inbox. Speaking of, this is the second main point of what actually Loop allows you to do, and that is manage shared inboxes. Shared inboxes can be added as part of the onboarding, or they can be added later here. But basically what shared inboxes, what the shared inbox functionality allows you to do is add an email address, a public email address, for example, orders at, uh, sales at, support at, and actually start managing them uh, as a team. So basically what, I'll give you an example of our hotfix team, which is all a shared inbox. So any email that comes into the support at in the loop IO gets shared into this team. This team is a team of 14 
and any one of those four team can actually engage on emails that come into this shared inbox. So the best way, what I'd like to show you is kind of the workflow uh, used the, what we feel is the best workflow um, uh, in the shared inbox, and that is moving from left to right. So basically, I can see that in the unassigned tab, I have three emails. Some of them might be unread, some of them haven't been uh, assigned yet. So I'm going to go through, and since I see this is a, an AppSumo uh, code, I will assign it to Andraj. And very quickly, go through the list. And since they're all three, all three of them are actually um, AppSumo codes and Andraj is our AppSumo code master, that's basically the way I'm gonna, so basically I've assigned away all three, um, all three things that were on there. So basically when, once I come, if I go back to my email, for example, and once I come back to the hotfix shared inbox, the unassigned view is now empty. This way I know that there are no things open uh, that haven't been assigned yet. Um, so I can actually now move on to actually reviewing uh, the various topics and tickets that, I, that are open, that we've assigned, but they haven't been resolved yet. And I can actually, I don't know, see that this thing has been, um, this ticket has been uh, assigned to Andraj. I can easily have a conversation here So I can have a, um, a discussion around this email. All of the 14 team members actually see this discussion, but obviously not the original uh, sender. This is actually an actual uh, email uh, from Athanasios. He's saying, is there a way to, um, to share a personal business address with another person? And yes, it, there is. So basically, um, the actual shared inbox can be any email address. Typically, it's what you would expect it to be. So, uh, so email addresses such as support at um, or inquiries at, but any email address that you set as a shared inbox are actually the contents of which are going to be accessible to these team members. Um, and I can see here that um, actually, one of the team members told me, yep, uh, he's just making sure that I, I get the answer. Pushtan is telling me they had a contact with this user already over chat, and I just said thank you. And this means that action, actually I can resolve this issue. So basically, I don't need to deal with this anymore. So I can actually go through this list and see um, if there's anything else that needs managing or following up. And once that's all actually all cleared or there's no, nothing more for me to do, there's obviously always the all view, which contains all of the tickets uh, that are either opened, assigned, unassigned. And I can go into various views that allow me to see you know, these tickets uh, with more detail or more filters applied, whether I start them, whether they've been assigned to a certain person or not by status. So that's the second thing that I wanted to talk about. So basically how the shared inbox works. The third and final one has to do with uh, basically uh, the various settings that you're able to, um, uh, to set in the app. So if you go into the settings of an account, you can see we have um, canned responses, which are available to you per team. So basically uh, team members or team admins are able to create canned responses for each team and all the team members have access to them uh, where, whenever they're either replying or creating email from those teams. That's uh, that section, the loop messages allows you to customize those views a little bit. So if you want uh, loop messages to include uh, emails or not, you're able to send that include sent items are not you're able to set that. Uh, default hover actions are able to be set here. You're able to set email signatures here, default ones, define new ones. You're able to set the levels of notifications and also the period um, of time that you want actual uh, emails to be synced back 
uh, for in loop. So the, the default period is two months, but you're able to extend that to any one of these uh, periods. You're also able to revoke, uh, remove access um, uh, to your account for loop. So that's a very quick um, walkthrough. Again, the sidebar that allows you to, map, to, um, to navigate between the various views, um, the shared inbox with the triage workflow that I mentioned, and then the advanced settings, which I just wanted to, to quickly run through. Maybe I just finish up with uh, the various views here. I mentioned loop messages and the various views here. A very useful view is also assigned so assigned are all emails uh, that have either been uh, assigned to me by myself, I've assigned them to myself, or other people have assigned to me, whether it's through a shared inbox, any of those shared inboxes, or any assignment really. You are able to actually do an ad hoc assignment that doesn't necessarily mean need to be with your shared inbox, um, and they will appear here. Any of those that I've assigned to others and that haven't been resolved yet are right here. So though these are the ones I've assigned to others. So these are the ones that I just assigned earlier that haven't resolved yet. I can easily follow up um, and find out mm, and find out the status, or you know, just quickly uh, see which ones I'm waiting for uh, for other people to uh, to work on. And the last thing that I wanted to mention is. I mentioned the shared inbox. You automatically get uh, this useful view of um, actually seeing the original email and the internal discussion around it. You can take any email that you receive. For example, this um, uh, the Zoom uh, link for, uh, for this uh, for this demo, and you're able to actually share it with anyone, whether it's actually whether it's a team or one of your uh, of the people that you work with most closely. And let's try that just uh, to give you an idea. So you're able to directly share this theme. I'm, I was able to directly share this uh, with Bustian. Um, I can now see that we, I've started a, me a message, a discussion section around this, um, that he's uh, then able to actually uh, contact me on also we can have a discussion around that email so you can also like I said share that to a team um, that's a manual sharing action we call these loops that's where we you know keep uh, keep the guys in the loop uh, that's where actually the name of the company also comes from so I'd wrap up um, the walkthrough now um, and then maybe open up uh, for questions. That, um... Absolutely. So if anybody wants to submit any questions uh, to the Q&A, you can. We do have a couple here to get us started. Um, the first question is, is it possible to mark the emails with tags? So we uh, uh, currently, we don't have uh, custom tags yet. Uh, it's in the works. Um, basically, custom tagging will allow you to, like I mentioned, um, you can see uh, this is a beta version and some of these, so you can see tags will appear as a filterable option. But like I said, for the moment, these are not available yet, but they're coming. So uh, label, uh, labeling or tagging um, are, typic are typically, some, sometimes users use them uh, in a way that actually teams would work better for that. So basically sharing content into a team automatically puts that into that team the way I just showed you. So basically when I shared something to Bustian, this, if I go into the list of emails, I had just shared this last one here. So the same way you can share it to a team, that team can actually be just with yourself. And then those are available as channels in this view that allows you to actually have a quick access to files and the note list. And the added benefit of actually their shareable uh, tags, right? So basically, you're able to add anyone to that team and they can see that list of emails. Oh. Um, all right. So, how it, the next question is how is the shared inbox email set up? IMAP, SMTP? So, we have um, two basic, um, you know, the 
the technical answer, and I'm not a complete technical guy, but um, the technical answer is um, we can you can set up standalone accounts as shared in box as well as distribution lists. There's a little bit of, little bit of logic that uh, auto detects these upon onboarding. So when you register, if we see that you have um, a distribution list type of shared inbox, we suggest uh, those shared inboxes for you and try to lead you through the setup. So the actual loop uh, email supports Office 365, Exchange, Gmail, and IMAP. And that's the same uh, holds true for the shared inbox types. Thanks. All right. Next question. And thank you everybody for sending these in. They're, we're, they're piling up. Uh, the next one is, are there folders or subfolders that see in a traditional email client? Um, sorry, could you just repeat that again? Um, are there folders and subfolders like one seen in a traditional email client, for example, mm -hmm. Gmail? So in the bottom here, you know, the quick answer is yes. So um, in the bottom here, you have a section which is Focus solely on email. And if you open that up, there's a folder section, which will give you your folder section as well as subfolders. So you're able to access those as well. All right, thank you. Um, this next one, I think I know the answer to, but let's get it on the record. Um, is, it, is this essentially webmail or does it work within our existing email client? So uh, this is actually, it works uh, as a separate email client on, the big, on, on top of the, the mail server that you're using. So if you're, at, if you're using Office 365, you set it up in here, it works as an email client. And on top of that, you have the collaboration platform and the Teams. Awesome. Um, the next one is, do you have open reporting on sent email? Um, we do not have um, sent email tracking. Uh, functionality in loop at this time. All right, we're getting through these. This is great. Um, the next question, this is a two-parter from one person. Uh, can we assign to more than one teammate? Um, it's only possible to assign a, a, to one person at a time. So All right. We can assign it so they can, in a, how shall I say, a topic can be reassigned easily. Okay. Um, once, once, uh, once it's been assigned. So for example, if this does not belong with Andraj, uh, you can easily reassign it to yourself or somebody else. Wonderful. All right, the next question I think um, a few people want to know is, do you have a roadmap? Um, we do, and uh, this is actually something a lot of uh, Sumlings have actually uh, called us out on. We are preparing it, We're, it's gonna, it should be up, um, I believe next week. Um, so we're sorry we haven't sh shared that uh, with you yet. But if I can comment on some of the things on there, so um, uh, automated rules such as, for example, assigning uh, based on keyword or assigning best based on sender or assigning based on um, uh, key, uh, sorry, uh, domains, uh, those kinds of things are already in beta now. So some of those, uh, we have like simple how-tos that we can share with users and give them access to that immediately already, but that's coming into production. Um, another requested feature is the subscription uh, management portal. Right now, uh, applying the Sumo code is a simple thing of actually interacting with our bot. I can just show you that very quickly, for example. So yes, please. Loopbot, you can jump to any channel by uh, doing command K. Um, uh, so you can jump into Loopbot, and Loopbot, uh, there's actually a team behind Loopbot. So um, uh, let's see if, uh, if that's really so. So most of the time, you will see somebody, so Loopbot actually starting to type back to us. Um, and giving us uh, real-time support. So the way you actually apply the app code Sumo, uh, sorry, the app Sumo uh, code is actually you just send it over to Lubot and we will apply it um, to you that way. So here you go, Lubot seems to be typing, uh, hopefully something helpful. <laughs> so and that's basically the way you apply the uh, code right now. But uh, in the, one of the next versions, as early as next week or maybe two weeks down the road, uh, you'll be able to, that auto, to do that automatically on your own through uh, a subscription portal. 
Awesome. Thank you. Yes, we do love a roadmap here, by the way. Um, so the next question, can I use my personal email address with Loop in addition to general email addresses? Absolutely. That's what uh, Loop uh, email is actually meant to do. So basically, um, uh, so here's Loopbot answering us. So um, Loop email, this is actually my Tommy at endloop.io work email. I also have my personal email address, which is Tommy at Sefman, my last name. So I have a second account. That's one way to do that. Um, the other way to do that uh, specifically for shared inboxes. So I have my work uh, email set up here and I have the support at um, uh, shared inbox set up here. So it's this view, the loop messages is actually a unified view across all of these email addresses, which is which I've connected at share, as shared inboxes. So personal email here, the shared inbox is here, um, or you can have additional personal like private emails as separate accounts. Awesome. So on a similar-ish note, is this a good tool for one person to use to manage email workflows for themselves? Um, this is so loop email isn't primarily a personal productivity tool. So even if you if you uh, if you see from some of these for, from the answers to some of these questions, we don't have uh, open tracking. We don't have follow ups, which are personal in nature. There are some elements which are um, uh, which are kind of personal productivity based. So you're able to take a thread and you're able to star it and that's something personal that you do for yourself. Uh, you're also able to folder it if you like, or delete it. So those things are personal productivity elements, but the main point of loop email is actually the collaborative element. Mm -hmm. So we really feel that actually solving workplace communication and productivity can be done outside of email and it can be done without the main collaboration effects such as discussions, teams, and we bring those two worlds together. So yes, you can use it as a personal email tool. I do, uh, I've really gotten used to, uh, you know, the way all this works. Mm -hmm. I assign things to myself as a follow-up, um, you know, as a follow-up thing uh, for myself as well. But really where it shines is when you're able to actually go into a team and, you know, get uh, instant help uh, from the guys around questions in a shared inbox setting, for example. Definitely. All right, so we have a couple more questions. I just want uh, everybody, if you want to submit your questions, now is the time. Um, just go to the Q&A box. Uh, the next question, pretty short and simple, is users the same as team members? Yes. Great. Uh, and then the next question that I wanted to ask you is actually about the deal itself. Um, how about applying the code uh, to the product? Yeah. So I mentioned the fact that uh, uh, the easiest way to, or, uh, to apply the code to the product is actually going to Loopbot. Everyone has it. And you just submit your AppSumo code. Um, in fact, uh, you know, you basically uh, go in here, you write the AppSumo code, and it will be applied for you. You can also reach out to our support, support at, like I've, been, like I've uh, sh shown you here. So and we're going to get a message like this apply it and resolve it. We, we do it relatively quickly, so within hours. Um, but like I said, there's also a, a subscription management portal coming up uh, shortly. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, I think that is all we have uh, for questions. So thank you, everybody. I'm going to come back here and wrap us up. Um, all right. So if you have not already gotten your code, I really don't know what you're waiting for. Um, you can go over to appsumo.com slash loop dash email. It's under browse right now and starting just $59. It's backed by AppSumo's 60 day guarantee. So feel free to get set up, start playing around with it, see how it works for you and your team. Um, let us know in the comments, of course, how it's going. And if you have any more questions, please leave them on the AppSumo deal page. We look forward to answering them. Thank you so much, Tommy, for joining us. Thank you for having me. You are awesome. All right. Have a great one. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.